Hey there, Tapas Fleming here, tatlife.com. This is for you in case you're feeling like I just can't connect with divine energy or I can't connect with love or my heart. I can't connect with life. It's just not me, but it's going on. Or maybe it has been you for a long time and you'd like to feel more connected and feel more love. So what we'll do is think about all the things, all the thoughts we have, like, oh, and this is never going to work for me. I can't get to where I want to go. I don't know what to do. Or maybe your heart is just feeling kind of dull. Or maybe you've felt before like, oh, I feel like usually feel connected with the divine here and I just can't. Or just a general feeling like I don't feel connected with life or the universe. I feel so isolated. Or there's just something I can't even name that's making me feel weird and out of it. It's kind of almost feels like it's sneaky and it's going on and I don't know what it is. So for any of those kind of conditions, this should help you. Um, besides those thoughts, uh, also notice any feelings in your body or memories or pictures that come to mind. We'll take all that mess of stuff and put it what we call in the pot. It just means that's what we're working on together right now, what we're going to with TAT. So um, I'll be talking us through a modified short version of TAT that I think will make a dent, will help you with this. And the first thing we'll do is the heart pose. That's palm over palm over your heart chakra. That means midline near your heart. Whichever palm over top is fine. And we'll make this big intention together. This healing's on behalf of you, your whole family, all your ancestors, your conscious and subconscious mind, all the parts of you, all the points of view you have ever been identified with, for all beings involved, all beings who would like to benefit. And it'll happen in a way that is safe and easy. So you'll next be doing the TAT pose. I'll show you how in a sec. And what you do is you just listen to what I'm saying. You don't try and get anything true. You don't try to be open. You don't try to uh, cut away barriers between you and the divine. You just chill out and listen to what I'm telling you. That's it, and see what you notice. So how you do the TAT pose is it's thumb and ring finger, these two, lightly touch above the upper inner corner of each eye and your middle finger goes midline, just about a half inch above your eyebrows and your other hand is at the base of your skull. So your thumb is just above your hairline back there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So you do the pose, I'll do it with you, and uh, you just listen to what I'm saying. Everything that led up to this happened. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying, and connecting with this happened. And we don't need to know what that is. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying, and connecting with this happened. All that happened, it's over. And I no longer resonate, identify, or connect with any of that. In case any other beings besides me are involved or were involved in projecting any of these images into my energetic field, including from any memories. Wherever all this disconnection junk came from, so for any beings involved in that, thank you for everything you did for me. 
your job here is done, your mission is complete. Your job here is done, your mission is complete. Your job here is done, your mission is complete. We're making prayers and wishes that all parts of all beings involved, including me, and all beings themselves, including me, meaning me, meaning you, are uplifted to the highest, happiest, most love-filled life possible. And that everyone accepts all the help that's here for us in getting there. Okay. I hope that helps you feel more connected, happier, more connected with the divine in your own heart and life. Thank you for listening and see you next time.